good morning everybody uh, Stevie here from never too late to uh, travel uh, this is our first morning here in uh, Prambury and uh, we've come down to visit the uh, Fra Nakong caves I don't uh, know uh, a lot about it but I will put something in the description later I'm led to believe it's a very interesting and uh, quite a picturesque place to go to so uh, with that um, there are two ways to get there. One is uh, quite a hike for about an hour uh, up the hillside and then there is a shorter alternative which you can go halfway by boat and uh, being the lazy person I am I'm going to do the boat ride. So we'll go and sort out and uh, find out where the boat goes from and uh, I'll just give you a, a quick look around uh, this area before we set off. So let's go and uh, discover. Quite a few little souvenir shops here. And a nice little centre point here of the uh, crabs, which uh, the Thai's name, Pu. Pu means crab in Thai. Quite a pretty little monument. wide variety of shells you can purchase here oh, so these are quite big wherever you go in Thailand you'll always find something interesting something different uh, that takes you by surprise And uh, for these things you have to please pay for national park fees before you take the boat. There is a fee here to pay for the park, so that's before we catch the boat. So the wife's just doing that at the moment. There's the sign for the Pranacon Cave and uh, just to give you a preview of what we're going to see uh, which is this uh, temple or shrine here so it's looking quite interesting so at the moment now we're waiting for the boat just some uh, information about the uh, National Park here and uh, some of the uh, entry fees and uh, a little map of uh, some of the uh, things to be found in this area and uh, some other sites around the place this is a long way up there so uh, that's the one I'd be trying to go up So uh, our boat has arrived and uh, had to take shoes and socks off and uh, we're just going to go now and uh, climb aboard. So here we are on the uh, boat and uh, we're just going to go around this headland and uh, go and look for uh, this cave. I don't know how good the sound is with the engine burning in the background but uh, I think that's really up to something up to the top right now.
we've uh, just got off the boat at uh, Lem's Hollow Beach and uh, we're just going to uh, clean our feet off and put our shoes and socks back on and uh, go and try and find uh, this uh, cave and uh, shrine. Absolutely beautiful morning here in Prambury. Uh, sea is quite calm today compared to uh, last night and a uh, few uh, little islands out there that are uh, quite picturesque this morning. Not many people around, uh, just a few have arrived to go to the caves this morning, but uh, undoubtedly it'll probably get a lot busier later in the day. So this is the start of the walk to the Franacom cave and uh, nature trail. Uh, I'm not going to video it uh, all the way because uh, what I was uh, led to believe is a 30 minute walk has now probably turned into uh, over an hour. Well this is the walk that we've uh, just come to uh, from the beach side uh, after landing on the boat and uh, I thought it was quite good because it, it was uh, quite flat but uh, my luck has just run out because uh, we've now come to the uh, set of steps and for me uh, <laughs> This sign is uh, very, very, very appropriate. Uh, the stairs, uh, steps don't look in particularly good condition and uh, doesn't look uh, many handholds, but uh, we'll go up there and uh, we'll see how we get on and see how steep it really is. So here it goes. It is very, very steep. so far so good uh, it's not as bad as it uh, actually looks but uh, I'm sure that uh, it's not going to get any easier on the way up that's for sure children seem to be climbing up here quite well and uh, some of the treads on the steps uh, is quite high so uh, we'll walk a bit more and uh, take some more videos as we get up higher. Well, as you can uh, see, the uh, path is getting steeper and steeper. So uh, we're just taking it steady and uh, I just hope that when we do arrive at the top that uh, it was worth the effort of getting up here. But uh, only time will tell. And it's true uh, when you climb these places. Uh, always seems to be the young people that uh, are struggling up here and uh, this young lady, she's probably in her early 20s she's actually done for already no surprises there so we've uh, actually uh, reached uh, one of the landing stages with a nice view out to the sea and uh, uh, I can honestly confess that it wasn't uh, an easy climb a little bit better view of the uh, island outcrop there and uh, a view across the sand of it uh, going further out to sea so we'll carry on walking towards the top uh, happy to say that the young lady has got a second wind and uh, she's got another 10 minute walk to the top so we'll see how she gets on I'll let her go up I don't want her falling back on me well, this is the uh, last section that uh, we've just completed from that viewpoint and uh, I believe another five to ten minutes now to uh, reach we're actually here, our destination. So a quick uh, stop here for one minute and then we'll carry on. So uh, here we are, we've uh, arrived on the uh, short descent now into the cave. Uh, it hasn't been an easy climb uh, but uh, there's a few other people join me on the uh, path on the way up, so it's uh, been a bit of a laugh also. 
so we'll catch you down the bottom. Well, we've uh, just climbed the last little bit and we're just uh, nearly at uh, our destination. Uh, a little bit steeper towards the end. Uh, but as I say, what goes down has got to come back up again. So it'll be a, another bit of a torturous climb. And then uh, hopefully it'll be all downhill. So let's go and see if the uh, climb was worth it. I passed a, an Irish couple uh, about five, ten minutes ago and they said it's absolutely beautiful down the bottom here. So, uh, well, remains to be seen. And it's uh, very wet and slippery here at the moment, so uh, not very good when you're only one-handed. It looks like a desert in the bottom with a few trees. But uh, let's, uh, let's see, I'll turn off the GoPro until I get down to the bottom. So uh, here we are, we've uh, arrived at the uh, bottom of the cave and uh, it's uh, not disappointing uh, to say the least. And uh, you can see the uh, sunshine shining through from the top and uh, at the bottom here is like a little mini oasis. So we'll carry on walking down and uh, I believe there is another cave at the back uh, where the lighter is uh, where the light uh, shines through better. So we'll go down there before the light fails, fades, so we can video this on the way back. Good morning. Very, very impressive. Uh, and you can see how far uh, we've come down from the top. So it's a big climb up and uh, a long climb down. But uh, I don't know whether you can see because of the light of the archway up there. Uh, I certainly wouldn't want to walk across the top of it. Shame that light is a little bit bright to get a clear shot, but it uh, gives you an idea. So now let's go through to the other bit. And this is supposed to be the, the best bit. And uh, just showing you the last bit of the cave here. This is what we've come to see and the light is absolutely stunning here. dark here not uh, so good for walking but we'll persevere we're going to come out into bright sunshine in a minute they still have a little bit of a guardrail there and there we have it as we're uh, exiting into uh, another part of the cave so although there's a lot of pain in getting here uh, I could honestly say it uh, it has been worthwhile and uh, you can see the arches up there what a fantastic view you can see the I don't know whether stalagmites or stasolites hanging from the uh, roof of the cave. I mean, they're quite a few uh, years old, I can assure you. And this big one's ripped down into a, a massive pool of rock at the bottom. And another beautiful oasis here. Really, really worth coming, coming to see. 
the shrine is not as impressive as the uh, surroundings. I've got a feeling that uh, some of these uh, It's amazing. Yeah, it's quite nice. I've, uh, as I was saying, I've got a feeling that uh, some of these rocks have actually been painted. They're not actually moss. But uh, I could be wrong because uh, as you look up higher, uh, it's the same shade of green. So in all probability, I am wrong. It is actually a kind of a moss, moss growth on there. Absolutely beautiful at the bottom with the light shining here. Absolutely stunning. What a fantastic view. You can see there's quite a few people here. information about the drops of water containing the uh, calcium bicarbonate uh, they actually seep through the roof of the cave and uh, as the water evaporates it leaves uh, a sediment and uh, it continues to run until uh, the formation of a satellite or stalocyte can never pronounce these words far too technical for me and this is where they have the uh, ceremony of the monk here little uh, shrine here unfortunately it's a bit dark so you can't see too much but uh, that's a hell of a stuff so like that. very very impressive pathway around here at the bottom you can get to the other side of the cave and uh, different areas of the garden very very impressive So, uh, with that, that uh, concludes our uh, visit here to the uh, cave. Uh, I don't intend to uh, video it all on the way back down. It's going to be uh, very wet and slippery. And uh, I've used, I'm on my second battery, so I need to conserve a little bit for later on today. But uh, very hard climb, but uh, as you can see, well worthwhile. If you're in the area, uh, be a, a great afternoon if you've got nothing else to do and uh, I'm sure you'll take some uh, absolutely fantastic pictures. If you'd like to see more of my uh, videos of travels around Thailand uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel all your support is much appreciated and uh, if you have any comments to make about the uh, video content or uh, you've probably actually visited here yourself uh, you'd like to tell us a little bit about your experiences and with that my friends uh, I hope to uh, catch you on the next one uh, have a pleasant day and uh, thanks for watching bye bye